Good afternoon. Hello, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good, yeah. Well, thank you. All right, we are wrapping it up with our final company right now. We're going to go to Mr. Mind. I'll be doing a little bit of a translation the best I can, but I did see these slides earlier. The slides are in English, uh, and I think it explains a lot about what he's going to say. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, if you can uh, go ahead. This is uh, Kim dong -wan, who is the CEO of Mr. Mind. So here's, I'm going to switch it over here just a second. I'm going to be speaking off camera uh, for the translation part of it. Um, but why don't we go ahead and set up over here and I will let him get going. Hello, everyone. Oh, one second here. Hello. My... Okay, let's see if this is working. Phone will use MacBook Air. Okay, uh, can you hear us? Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Kim Dong Wan for Mr. Mind CEO. Yep. 오늘 이렇게 만나 뵙게 돼서 반갑습니다. It's uh, great to be here and meet everyone, and he's uh, happy to be here. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna let me pull this up quickly. Get it on to. Yes. So please give me a 20 seconds of background technical expertise that I'm pretending to have. Uh, let's see. All right, we'll go ahead and get started uh, and uh, take it away. Yep. 저희는 인공지능 자연어 처리 기술로 어르신의 마음을 훔치고 있는 스타트업 미스터 마인드라고 합니다. 어, 그 시니어분들이 가장 걸리기 싫어하는 질병 중에 하나가 치매이고. 이 치매와 연관해서 우울증과 자살이 동반되는 아주 어, 심각한 사회 문제 어, 어, 현상으로 발생되고 있습니다. 그런데 이세 가지의 질병은 하나의 솔루션이 있으면 모든 것들이 해결된다. So this company kind of started on the premise that these are some of the issues that the elderly populations deal with uh, and they are looking for they were looking for a solution. Uh, for these issues of depression, Alzheimer's, as well as suicide rates. Yeah, 그 솔루션은 지금 보시는 것 같이 말동무라는 친구 한 명이라도 존재를 한다면 우울증이나 치매, 자살을 예방할 수 있습니다. Just as you read in the slide, even having one friend to talk to can help with the prevention of dementia, depression, and suicide. 그래서 저희는 인공지능 자연어 처리 기술로 어르신들과 대화가 가능한 말동무 인형을 제작을 했습니다. Uh, and so we have an AI companion robot as a senior healthcare solution that we're going to be, as you may have seen earlier, as yep. he was uh, holding it up. It is not this teddy bear at the moment, but currently. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me quickly stop screen share to give you a look at this. Yeah. Uh, what, is, what is her name? Uh, her name is uh, Torongi. Torongi, yeah. Which is kind of, it kind of means like uh, dazzling eyes or like sparkling or dazzling. And I guess that's from Torongi, uh, yeah, for the eyes, right? Okay, we'll go back to the screen share right now. This 
어르신과 네. 대화를 하면 한 10마디 중에 6마디 정도를 할수 있습니다. Uh, so you can see kind of the statistics here, but in a conversation, the uh, AI robot function can speak anywhere from you know, six to 10 different send words per yeah. sentence or per command. 그리고 이 친구는 기본적으로 LT 통신을 통해 그 통신을 하고요. 그리고 치매나 우울증, 자살을 예방할 수 있는 컨텐츠와 기능으로 구성되어 있습니다. Uh, it also uses uh, LTE technology uh, as part of the ways to uh, link this, link the, um, well, I guess we'll talk about it in a second, but to link the doll or the animal with uh, services that will eventually help with the reduction of those diseases we mentioned before. 그리고 이 친구는 크게 이제 그 인형, 그리고 돌봄 그 앱, 보호자들이 보는 어플리케이션, 그리고 그 기관에서 보는 간제 솔루션, 크게 세 가지로 구성이 되어 있습니다. Um, okay, and uh, these are the three solutions that are a part of the, what they are offering. 그리고 현재 저희가 그 공공기관에 이그 돌봄 로봇을 제공을 하고 있는데, 저희가 공공 돌봄에서 어 많은 그 매출을 일으키는 원인이 일단 인공지능 학습을 지자 그 공공기관에 맞춰서 별, 별도로 저희가 만들 수 있고요. 그리고 한국에 있는 공공기관들은 지자체들은 자기들만의 캐릭터가 있습니다. 그래서 실제로 원하는 캐릭터로 커스터마이징이 가능하다는 거. 그리고 기본적으로 치매 우울증 같은 진단을 할수 있는 인공지능 알고리즘이 탑재가 되어 있어서 현재 대기업도 그 해결하지 못하는 문제를 저희 미스터 마인드가 해결하고 있습니다. Uh, so Mr. Mind the company has these features that we're talking about including ones that uh, what's interesting they can be used with the government and it can be a way for the government to communicate with people. Uh, it can be used you can have a character designed from the government or from a, like a local government an organization like say the olympics there's always a character right um, but uh, using the characters as well as their ai based prediction algorithm they're also able to predict any uh, potential diseases that may come about and also use their big data uh, in ways again we'll probably talk about in just a moment 그리고 실제로 저희 인행에만 있는 기능 중에 그 nfc 그 알고리즘을 이용한 인지 카드 기능이 있습니다 이 이것들은 기본적으로 컨텐츠를 그 이용할 때 사용하는 그 카드인데요. 어 실제로 OX 카드 같은 경우는 문진표 그러니까 치매나 우울증 자살을 조기에 진단할 수 있는 문진표가 탑재가 되어 있어서 어르신들은 어 일상 대화 퀴즈를 풀면서 자연스럽게 우울증이나 치매 그리고 자살을 예방할 수 있는 문진표를 작성을 하게 되어 있습니다. We'll show you these cards in just a bit in real life, but you can see them down there at the bottom left hand corner. Uh, these are cards that can be used to detect abnormal symptoms of the diseases, dementia, de um, of dementia, depression, uh, suicide as well. 그리고 어, 이 기능은 실제로 저희가 이제 B2C 모델에 탑재될 주요 기능인데요. 어, 쉽게 말하면 이탈, 이탈리아 할아버지와 한국의 할머니를 저희 돌돌이를 통해서 어, 소개팅을 시켜줄 수 있는 기능이 되겠습니다. They also have the technology and the ability to actually kind of set up a, I'm going to call it soulgating, like a blind date almost. I mean, really blind. You can't see because you're using uh, the dolls or the uh, stuffed animals to have a conversation. And this internet-based voice chat would allow a conversation between someone from, let's say, uh, an older person from Italy and uh, an older person from Korea to have a conversation, a kind of a slight relationship, if you will, uh, friendship that can be uh, set up through their technology. Yeah. 실제로 이 기능이 활성화만 활성화만 된다면, 저 시니어 그러니까 전 세계 시니어를 하나의 SNS 플랫폼으로 어, 만들 수가 있어서 이것들은 글로벌 기업인 구글, 페이스북도 하지 못한. 그런 어, 비즈니스를 펼칠 수 있을 거라 저희는 생각합니다. 
You could even see the potential of having a global senior social networking service that arises from the functions, uh, the functionality of their services. So the so the top goal is the government in the Mapo Gucheng. In the,실제로 three years, we have compared the data of our users. We have compared the data of our users. And this particular slide is talking about what they are, or where they are testing. Actually, that's where I live, that in Mapogu, which is in Seoul, kind of the north, uh, northwestern part of Seoul there. Uh, and about 400 people are have been using this and testing this service, uh, or did the test for about 10 months from March of 2021 until December of 2021. Yeah. And you can see some of the the statistics that they have up here as well that they've connect, connected because it is a big data company or it collects data yeah. uh, that can be used for anal analysis. 그리고 어 저희 비즈니스와 유사한 비즈니스가 인공지능 스피커를 통한 어떤 그 대기업들의 인공지능 스피커와 비슷한데 실제로 지금 보시는 같이 어 우리 그 돌봄 노부대에게는 어르신들의 어떤 감정을 표현할 수 있는 그런 다양한 uh, you can see kind of the um, the words that are often that are used most often by the the conversations between the uh, AI robot and the uh, the seniors as well. And just for a quick, I, I think most of you out there can read Korean, but just quickly, some of the key words seems to be uh, talk, I love you, hello, what are you doing? Uh, worries as well, because it's not just about, um, it's not, we talked about this a little bit before, yeah. uh, before we started this, but, you know, part of it is giving the elderly population a chance to be honest and to talk about their worries and something that they wouldn't necessarily tell their family, they might actually confide with their doll in. So it has, uh, this is just kind of a uh, word collage of commonly used words in those conversations. 그리고 실제로 저희가 그한 달에 한 번씩 리포트를 제공을 하는데요. 지금 보시는 것 같이 평균 그 대화를 하루에 백 마디 이상 지금 하고 있다라는 게 이제 그 리포트를 통해서 나오고요. 실제로 이런 어 인게이지먼트를 유지하는 그 국내의 돌봄 로봇은 존재하지 않습니다. Yeah. Uh, again, self kind of in the slide that you're looking at right now has all the information and the data in here. Although I'm, I'm actually surprised at how much uh, it's more than 70% of seniors use the bot every day. Uh, it does seem like a, yeah. that, that's a social media site because yeah. social media sites, you use it every single day. 그리고 저희가 지금 그 3년 동안 지금 이 서비스를 운영을 하고 있는데 현재 어 36군데의 가구 분들과 지금 이용을 하고 있고 8,400대 정도 저희가 납품을 했습니다. 그리고 연말까지 저희의 목표는 2만 대 정도 예상을 하고 있습니다. So currently there has been uh, 8,400 in sales, but the goal by the end of this year will be to hit 20,000 yeah. in sales uh, for the public in Korea working with the local government. And you can see some of the locations there on the right hand side as well. Are you going to piss? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 저희... 예, 비즈니스 모델은 기본적으로 셀 한, 판매가 판매를 하는 것과 렌탈을 하는 두 종류가 있는데요. 판매를 하게 되면 88만 원에 월 2만 2천 원을 이제 집 지불하는 비즈니스 모델이 있고 그리고 또 다른 렌탈 모델은 월 6만 6천 원에 2년 약정을 하게 되면 됩니다. And here are two of the price plans that they offer. The first one is the total price of 880,000 Korean won, which it changes every day, but I feel like that's around 700, 720 US dollars um, currently based on the exchange rate. And then the rental price here is 66,000 Korean won, which um, is probably around 50, 51 US dollars uh, for a monthly rental price for a with a two year commitment, kind of like a phone plan right there. Actually, 실제로 여러분들이 우리 그 돌봄 로봇하고 대화를 하다가 병원에 갔는데 
침해 확정이 된 겁니다. 그러면 1년치의 대화 내용들이 하나의 케이스로 저장이 되고요. 이후에 제가 그 돌봄 로봇을 사용하고 있는데 여기 심사역분하고 동일한 대화가 20% 나왔다. 그러면 제가 6개월 후에 침해 걸릴 확률이 20%가 되는 겁니다. 현재 침해는 치유할 수 있는 약이 존재하지 않습니다. 그래서 가장 중요한 것은 치매 이상 증후군을 가장 빨리 어, 발견을 해서 지연시키고 연장시키는 게 가장 훌륭한 솔루션인데 저희가 데이터를 빅데이터를 어, 수집을 한다면 머지않은 시간에 치매를 예측할 수 있는 인공지능으로 거듭날 수 있을 거라고 생각합니다. And uh, you're working with Seoul National University Hospital yeah. on this one, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is just talking about how they'll be able to potentially predict the early, well, to recognize early onset dementia and um, predict the possibility of someone's of someone having dementia in the future by looking at the conversations that are being had, or the, uh, as you mentioned, the cards, using the cards and the games that were being played. Um, so it becomes a prediction model using big data. Um, and this yeah. is showing that they've got the certifications and. 어 실제로 제가 이 비즈니스를 하게 된 계기가 어 저희 어머니가 이 친구한테 저한테는 하지 않는 말을 하는 것을 발견을 했어요. 제가 처음에 이 제품을 만들어서 저희 부모님한테 자랑을 하러 갔어요. 근데 당신이 무릎 아프다는 얘기를 저한테는 안 하고 이 우리 친구한테는 하는 거예요. 그래서 아 그렇다면 그것들을 분석을 한다면 우리 어머니를 조금 더 행복하게 해드릴 수 있겠구나라고 해서 저희가 사업을 시작을 했는데 저희는 거창한 비전은 없습니다. 우리 어르신들이 하루에 세번 이상 웃게 해줄 수 있는 그래서 인공지능이라는 기술이 인류를 행복해질 수 있다면 충분히 도전해 볼 가치가 있다고 생각해서 지금 열심히 어, 사명을 가지고 어, 사업을 운영하고 있습니다. Uh, so you just gave a personal story. Uh, you gave it to your mother. Yep. You gave it to your mother, uh, who will say something to the to the stuffed animal or to the doll that maybe wouldn't say directly. You know, uh, I I think it was I'm proud. Yeah. Right of it. That wouldn't say to. Sometimes it's hard to and say things to your children or your grandchildren, but if you say it to the doll. Um, there's some great functionality that maybe he'll talk about in a second uh, about how that works and how you can actually learn about things that are said by uh, grandparents. But yeah, I, I think there's a, a lot of potential in this product. And he mentioned also the ability to just make someone laugh a couple times a day uh, and to kind of provide emotional uh, support as well. And so that's basically it for the slide of the presentation. Why don't we go ahead and yeah. take a look at the uh, Doll itself is. See if it's here. Chorongi. Yeah. yeah. Her name is Chorongi. This 친구는 크게 그 대화하기 버튼, 아니 놀이 버튼이 있고 이렇게 대화 대화 버튼이 있습니다. Yeah, so basically, uh, you have on this side a play button, and the other one is have a conversation conversation button. Yeah. 대화를 하려면. 말씀하세요. 너 이름이 뭐야? 저는 어르신들의 절친 초롱이라고 합니다. Uh, so first, uh, please speak is what she said. What's your name? And then she responded. 말씀하세요. 오늘 날씨가 어때? 경기도 성남시 날씨는 하늘의 양떼처럼 구름이 지나가고 있어요. Oh, that's basically kind of like a one of those uh, speakers uh, from the other big companies, but that just gave us the weather of where we are right now. Turn on drop music. Of course, one of the most popular music genres in Korea for the elderly population is trot music, a very Korean type of music. I would call it traditional Korean, modern traditional Korean music. And 
여기 이제 인지 카드가 있는데요. 이 카드는 이제 놀이 버튼을 누르면 원하시는 놀이 카드를 주머니에 넣어 주세요. 문제 나갑니다. 물고기는 소변을 보지 않는다. 맞으면 O, 틀리면 X. It's a true false game right now with X's and O's that the uh, person can play. I missed the question, but that's the wrong answer. <laughs> 그런데 여기에 이제 문진표가 들어가 있어가지고 어르신들은 키조 푼다고 생각하는데 자기도 모르는 사이에 우울증이나 치매, 자살 문, 그, 그 문진을 받게 되는 겁니다. Mm, so you can actually get some information from them taking this test. The uh, elderly people will not know that this information is being collected, but it could show signs of early dementia or even the potential for suicide. 실제로 이 친구는 그 6개월 된 손자 컨셉이고요. 그래서 지금 어르신들이 이렇게 손자를 안듯이 그 보면서 어 대화를 하는 그런 컨셉이 되겠습니다. 그래서 실제로 어르신들이 어 상당히 사랑을 하고 있는 존재가 됩니다. 참고로 이런 그, 그 로봇은 전 세계적으로 저희만 할수 있습니다. <웃음> Uh, so this design is based on the idea of a granddaughter, basically a grandchild, and uh, to give the the appearance of having a conversation with your grandchild as a um, as a grandmother or a grandfather, uh, and this is one of a kind that what they have the technologies to uh, to make this happen. 그리고 이제 실제로 저희가 그 인공지능 스피커와 다르게 그이 친구만의 그 기능이 있는데요. 그 기능 중에 하나가 아바타 톡이라는 기능입니다. 보호자가 어플리케이션에서 텍스트를 치면 얘가 캐릭터 목소리로 전달을 합니다. 제가 그걸 시연을 한번 해보도록 하겠습니다. 아바타 톡 준비해 주세요. Uh, we're about to test something where this has the ability for the person, the caretaker or someone to input into their text messaging service that they have here uh, without the elderly person knowing uh, a message that they want to send to their grandmother or their grandfather or mother or father uh, in the voice of the actual doll itself. And so we're going to do a quick little test in a second as we pull up the app to this is uh, it's going off screen behind the computer right now, but we're going to be sending a message to the doll and that doll will then uh, just relay the message to the grandmother or grandfather. 실제로... 그 어도된 질문을 하면 어도된 답이 나옵니다. 그그 그 말은 무슨 말이냐면 제가 얼마 전에 그 바나나가 고혈압에 좋다라는 정보를 TV 방송에서 봤어요. 그래서 이 친구를 통해서 어르신 바나나가 고혈압에 좋대요. 바나나 많이 드세요라고 이야기를 했더니 어르신들이 아 바나나 사야겠다. 바나나 먹어야겠다라고 대답을 하는 거예요. 그래서 실제로 저희가 이커머스 그러니까 바나나를 배달하는 테스트를 했는데 실제로 이것들이 보급만 많이 된다면 어, 마케팅에 아주 좋은 툴로 어, 사용할 거라고 믿습니다. 그러면 저희가 그 여러분들에게 아바타톡으로 인사를 한번 하겠습니다. Very, yeah, very quickly, just to uh, translate what he just said. Basically. This can also be used as a reminder to the elderly person that uh, a reminder to eat bananas by saying something that is on TV, like bananas are high in potassium or something like that. Uh, and there you also now see the potential of marketing to, you know, to sell bananas from a particular marketing site. So we're going to, I don't even know what he's putting in, but he's going to input the text right now that's going to be coming in from the application and going to the doll. Hello, I am artificial eye intelligence care doll. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Hello, I am currently using the Korean language because uh, that is the language that is speaking, but uh, using the phonetics of the Korean language to speak English here. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Um, why don't we quickly go ahead and, and move on. Long, if you have any questions, um, why don't we get started? And I have a few myself, but why don't you go first? And uh, yeah. 
Thank you. Uh, your uh, product is uh, very impressive. Uh, I, I can see that uh, it can detect uh, depression and, and suicide. Uh, how can uh, your product uh, do that? Can you explain more about that? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, maybe I can explain it because I didn't give as much as uh, an ex explanation here. Uh, 그, 그 제품이 엄청 대단한데 어떻게 자사 가능성이 높은지 아니면 그 치매가 높은지 어떻게 분석되어 가는 거예요? 기본적으로 그 치매 측정은 글로벌 표준입니다. <웃음> 그래서 문제표가 딱 정해져 있는데 그 문진표가 예를 들어서 열 문제 갔는데 어 일곱 문제 이상 어, 틀리면 그분은 이제 치매가 확정이 되는 거예요. Uh, so there is a global standard that is being used. Um, I think he, I'm, I'm not, my Korean isn't perfect to get the exact translations of what he says, but basically uh, if there's uh, 10 questions that are asked and 10 basic questions that are asked according to the global standard and eight of them are wrong, that would be an indication of uh, dementia. So using global standards um, that are defined in the medical field to determine these things. I can see that the uh, Ladon is uh, heavily customized for Korean market. So uh, if you want to, to move on the uh, uh, Vietnam market, so what is your plan? To, because you know, you use uh, um, uh, you big data and you uh, a lot of conversations. You know. I think that a lot of work if, if you plan to, 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 to put your product into Vietnamese。あ、ペアハシンゴ、もちろんマーケットだと思うんで、こう、ベトナム市場にお届けできるかを、すみに、こう、目標、あ、お届けできるかを、すみに、ご注意ください。現在、私がグローバルマーケットを
Yeah. Uh, so once investment comes in, 언제 지금이라고 하죠? 어, 2000, 예, 지금. 2023년 하반기. Okay. So um, once they're uh, they're able to put their investment to use, they're actually going to be improving the efficiency of their productions. Uh, and with that efficiency in production, the cost of that uh, of the dolls will actually go down quite a bit. Uh, and so that's why, for the moment, he said, um, I, I, this isn't the right translation because it doesn't express the right emotion, but don't worry about it for now uh, because there is going to be a reduction in the price because of their investment in the production side of this, uh, the doll and AI technology. Um, yeah, can you, uh, I, I have um, one small question about the Q character of your dolls. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, do, do you aim to produce a you know, cute deal right from the start or why don't you choose something like more serious, more you know, formal, you know, uh, why, why the cute character? Why the cute character? First of all, the people who like the children like the children are the children. So, 아이보다는 손녀를 더 좋아하더라고요. 그래서 이제 기본 모델은 이제 손녀 형태가 캐릭터로 나온 거고요. 그리고 그 할아버지들이 아이들하고 공통점이 있는데 아이들이나 어르신들은 잘생기고 이쁜 캐릭터를 좋아합니다. Uh, basically because the focus of the market currently is with older people choosing the uh, grandchild image was kind of the no brainer here. Because it's you know something that not only people, of course, around the world would be interested or, or I guess more affectionate to would be the right word. And so we talked about it earlier, and this is not from his translation, but um, the ability for the older person to honestly speak to the character is an important part of their business model. Uh, so then that'll you know receive data to help people determine if there's a high risk of suicide or dementia. Or depression with the people and so having a cute character that the older person can feel affection to and almost feel like maybe maybe a pet i don't he didn't use these words but i'm just trying to give my own maybe something that you would feel affection to as if it were your own grandchild um, that's an important part of getting this data from the older uh, people who are using this uh just one uh, more question. So uh, I, I see that you can uh, customize your dome, uh, the appearance. So uh, can, can you make your dome uh, after a real person, you know, like a child, a child and uh, a grandchild? So uh, the, the effect might be more like more effective. Mm. Oh, good. 이, 이게 만들어졌는데 그 진짜 손자처럼 손자 보이는 모습으로 만들 수 있는 아, 오늘 안 그래도 <웃음> 알렉스가 그런 아이디를 줘서 실제로 그렇게 구현을 할 예정입니다. Uh, he just said I before we started this conversation I asked him the same question uh, and uh, yes he's it is it's possible to do and they are actually going to look into it. Yeah. So yes. <웃음> 알렉스가 <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, really appreciate it. And I, I think we covered a lot of information here and uh, especially about Mr. Mind, the, the product. Uh, you have to add the I, the E at the end of it to make it a, a cuter Korean name. And there's a lot of other functionality as well. <laughs> <laughs> the, the doll just burped uh, from the application. They send the burp and in order to, and then the doll just said, uh, can you pat me on the back? Because I've got a burp. It can burp. It can, f are you doing more right now? If we do one more, I think there's, there's like, there's three total. Burp is one of them. See. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's sending the function now. 
지금 무슨 걸로 하고 있어? 응응. 원격에서? 아그그 반대 반대. 아. 그 시간 좀 보면. 아 so one of the ones that uh, you're not going to see here is the doll can also cry, correct? So the doll can cry and uh, then basically the uh, the it's an indication for the older person to hold the doll uh, to keep it from crying more. Now, the last one, uh, the, the Wi-Fi here is a little bit slow and that's why we're trying to give you the grand finale right now. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, sure. That was a very serious conversation. 그럽네요. 아까부터 배가 꾸룩꾸룩하긴 했는데 조절을 잘 못했네요. 그래도 귀엽게 봐주실 거죠? You're gonna cutely accept the fact that I farted. Yeah, that was the middle of a serious conversation. But one more, one more. Let's see if we can get it back in one more time. <laughs> so please say it's okay that I farted. I'm embarrassed. Um, what was interesting right before the interruption was he was mentioning that four yeah. people, had, the data from four people was actually sent to hospitals uh, for older people who had the indications of potentially wanting to commit suicide. Yeah. And so that information was actually in the last three months sent to hospitals and uh, the, 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 the yeah. and they became patients um, by uh, because of that. they were moved to the hospital because of that reason at all. So they have real life uh, examples now of how this can be used to help prevent suicide. Uh, 아주 똑똑한 스트롱한 인공지능을 개발하고 있는데 그러, 그렇기 때문에 많은 사람들이 인공지능에 대해서 두려움을 갖고 있어요. 그런데 저희는 조금 기술적으로는 한계가 있지만 이런 어, 감정을 서로 소, 어, 소통할 수 있는 인공지능을 통해서 인공지능이라는 기술이 인류에 도움이 되는 그것들을 증명하고 싶어서 지금 열심히 어, 개발에 어, 집중하고 있습니다. 그래서 언젠가는 저희 인공지능이 많은 어르신들을 행복하게 해주기를 바라면서 잘 부탁드리겠습니다. Uh, they are, at Mr. Mind, the employees, the researchers are working hard because they know that globally speaking, with a lot of larger companies having AI technology, it can be a little bit uh, make a lot of people afraid of this kind of technology. But their goal is to work hard to bring a smile to the face of people in the elderly population as uh, they use kind of a, an emotionally beneficial AI technology that they have uh, to promote their product. Thank you so much. Thank you.